and slowly bring your arms all the way up. Keep your palms together. So when you do that, I really want you to stay focused on pressing your hips down to the mat. Keep breathing. We really have to work your back muscles and your core muscles here to keep your torso stabilized without the support of your arms. So keep breathing here. Inhale and exhale. Come back. Lengthen. Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Hena and welcome to day 12 of the 30 minutes Pilates challenge. I'm so happy that we are here today and as I said, I will do Pilates on request every week to suit your personal goal better. So today we're going to do a request on strengthening your back. So when you're ready, just draw your mat and let's begin. Let's begin by allowing yourself to lengthen your spine, rotate your shoulders fully to forward direction and slightly pull your belly button in. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and reverse. Good. Now from here, bring your arms to the side, inhale and slowly soften your elbows, round your spine and bring your arm to the front, inhale open. Exhale, come back, keep breathing here. I want you to do it slowly with your own breath and feel the movement of your spine here. So keep breathing. I'm gonna do it five more times, say with your own breath. Inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, open. And exhale, come back. And four, three, very good. Two more times, say with your own breath. And last one, open. Exhale, come back and slowly bring your hands down. Bring your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Now inhale and rotate your torso to one side. Come back, exhale to the other side and bring it back to the center. We're going to warm up a little bit before we start for the main workout. So keep breathing. Inhale, open. Exhale, come back and fall to your right. Lengthen your spine and slightly engage your core still. Three. And two more times, stay with your own breath. And last one, inhale, open. Exhale, come back. Inhale to the other side and exhale, bring it back, arms down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to come to own four position. Open your arms, shoulder apart and your legs hip width apart. Now, rotate your torso, your the eyes on the elbows here to face each other and lengthen your spine. Dip your shoulders down between your arms and lift. Inhale down, exhale up and keep breathing here with your own breath. We're going to do it five more times. Inhale and exhale. Four and three. Beautiful guys. Two. Make sure you still lengthen your spine here. Last one. Now articulate your spine, shoulders down, inhale, look up. Belly button in and chin and chest, roll each vertebra at a time, squeeze your booty muscles and squeeze in the thighs, keep breathing, slowly inhale and exhale and three more times here with your own breath and rise your spine, make sure you pull your belly button in to support your lower back and last one and slowly bring it back to the center, shake your hips. Now I want you to inhale and tuck your feet here, lift your hips as high as you can. And slowly bend your knees down, shift your weight down to the front. Good. And we're going to do it five more times. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Four. And three. Belly button in, try to lift your hips as high as you can. And two. And last one, lift. And slowly bring it down. Belly button in. Now I want you to inhale and keep your knees and your heels together. So lengthen one leg here and slowly articulate your spine, shoulder down. Inhale, look up. Belly button in and round your spine, chin your chest. Now make sure that your hips still stabilize and balance. Keep breathing. Articulate your spine. And exhale, round your spine. And two more times, say with your own breath. Belly button in. And last one. And round your spine. 
and slowly bring your back back to neutral bend your knee and to the other side again inhale chin to chest and roll each vertebra at a time and articulate your spine shoulders down look up and chin to chest again beautiful and two more times say with your own breath inhale squeeze your body muscles if you can and hips still facing down to the mat and arch and last one, chin your chest, round your spine, try to reach your opposite part a little bit higher and keep your shoulders parallel and stabilized. Last one, and slowly bring your back back to neutral, bend your knees here. All right, now from here, I want you to open your legs with the part. Now imagine that you have a tail behind your hips. I want you to wipe the tail to one side, the shoulder lead the movement here and to the other side. So keep breathing, belly button in. I'm gonna do it five more times each side. And really pull your belly button in. Keep your shoulders far away from your ears. And three. To the other side. Two, inhale. And exhale, come back. To the other side. And last one. To your left and slowly come back to the center, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now the next movement, I want you to inhale and lengthen your spine here. Rotate the eyes on the elbows to face each other and shoulder far away from your ears. Now this time, inhale and lift your knees up, engage your core, exhale, bring it down. So you can make a fist for more support if you need to. But again, always make sure the eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other. And we're gonna do it a couple more times, say with your own breath. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. And seven, six, five, four. Very good. And three more times here. Two, inhale, and exhale. Last one, lift, and slowly bring it down. Now again, put your palms down, shoulder far away from your ears again. And when you to inhale, keep your heels and your knees together. Now, tuck your feet and lift your knees up. So again, eyes on the elbows, face each other and bring your hips to one side and come back to the other side. Make sure you do it slowly and shoulders still on top of your wrist here. Very slowly with your own breath and belly button in. Don't have to go so far. Just really listen to your body and make sure that your belly button all the way towards the spine to protect your lower back. To the other side and back to the center and slowly come to try pose. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Shake your hips a little bit here. And when you're ready, allow yourself to put your forearms down to the mat. Now, open your legs if you're apart here. Tuck your feet, inhale and lift your hips as high as you can. Exhale, come back, engage your core. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down. Shoulders on top of your knees and belly button all the way in. In five, four. Very good. Three more times, stay with your own breath. In two. And last one. Slowly bring your knees down, allow yourself to lie all the way down on your stomach. Now from here, I want you to inhale and put your hand neck to your chest, close your elbows to the back, lengthen your neck and look down to the mat here. So I want you to inhale, open your legs, hip through apart and push your torso up, exhale, bring it down. <sighs> inhale, lift and exhale down, control your pelvic floor muscle and squeeze your thighs, belly button in, beautiful. Inhale all the way up and exhale slowly down. Make sure you always engage your core to support your lower back. Always lengthen your neck to look down to the mat and protect your neck here. And put your shoulders all the way down towards your hips. So three, two, and one. And three more times still the second one. So keep breathing, two, and last one. And slowly bring it down, shake your hips from left to right, very good. 
Now from here, I want you to allow yourself to open your arms to the side, lengthen your neck and lift your shoulders off the mat. Now, I want you to inhale, try to reach your hands all the way towards the side and then lift your arms up parallel to the floor. Pull your belly button in to support your lower back. Press your hip bones down to the mat. Now I want you to inhale and start to make a little pulse with your arms here. Engage your core and keep breathing. Five, four, three, belly button in. And one, slowly bring your arm down. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Really engage your core here and don't have to lift so high. Just listen to your body and look down to the mat. Like we try to fly and then come down. Inhale, lift smoothly with your wings, your arms here. So keep breathing. In three, two, and last one, lift. And slowly bring your arms down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I wanted to inhale and make a pillow under your forehead here, belly button in. So, shoulders down towards your hips. Now inhale, I want you to lift your torso up without changing the position of your neck. Your neck is still lengthening here and bring your torso down. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Engage your core as much as possible here. In three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your torso down. Interlace your finger all the way to the back. Now, lengthen your arms here, lengthen your neck. I want you to use your hand to pull your neck so down. <sighs> Inhale, lift. Your hip bones still down to the mat and your back in neutral position. Your legs down to the mat. Open your legs to width apart. Activate your feet here and push your whole two legs down to the mat here. So use your hand to pull your torso up into your core. Exhale, back. And five. <sighs> Four, really pull your belly button in three and two more times use your hand to pull all the way back and last one and the very last one here so slowly bring your torso down arms down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now from here I want you to allow yourself to lengthen your arms all the way over your head now, inhale and lift one arm and opposite leg up and bring it down to the other side and come back. Keep breathing here with your own breath. Belly button in. Really pull your belly button in and don't have to lift your arm and your leg so high. Really listen to your body here and make sure you always feel comfortable with your lower back. Really engage your core and keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. To the other side and three more times here lift and down and two to your left and to your right and to the other side and slowly bring it down straight hips from left to right very good now i'm going to inhale and try to lift both arms and legs up off the mat here start to pumping your opposite arm and leg make sure you don't flex to at your hips stabilize your hips squeeze your thighs and belly button in Press your hip bones down to the mat. Really engage your core. Now, if you feel like a little bit uncomfortable with your lower back, you can always bring your torso down and only work your leg. Or you can do the opposite way, like just only pumping your arms without bringing your legs up. So keep breathing. Really listen to your body here. In three, two, and last one. Slowly bring your torso down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And the last challenge I wanted to do in this position is lengthen your arms all the way over your head again. Inhale, lift both arms and legs up at the same time and come back down to the mat. Inhale, up and exhale down. And a couple more times, stay with your own breath. So inhale and exhale in six, five, Four, belly button in, squeeze your booty muscles, squeeze in the thighs, and three, engage your core as much as possible, and last one, lift, and slowly bring it down, allow yourself to roll all the way down to 
Try pose. Open your knees wider. Reach your hands all towards the front. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Reach your hands for the belly button slightly in. And allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. All right. Now from here, I want you to open your legs hip width apart. Keep your back in neutral and arms along your body. Now reach your hand towards your heels and press your feet down, belly button in, tuck the tailbone forward. So your lower back is still down to the mat and slowly bring it down. Inhale, lift and exhale down. Squeeze in your thighs and we're gonna do it four more times. Stay with your own breath. Keep breathing three, belly button in two, and last one. Now I want you to inhale and tuck the tailbone forward, draw your hips as high as you can. So this time, your upper shoulders all the way down to the mat, your shoulder blades down to the mat. Press your whole arms and down to the mat as well. And keep breathing, bring your hips down. Slowly, each vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift. And exhale down. Beautiful. And six more times, stay with your own breath. Belly button all the way in. Reach your hips as tight as you can and slowly bring it down. And five, press your feet down. When you lift your hips up, I want you to make sure your legs still parallel to each other and your knees not moving towards the outside or inside. Just really stabilize and your knees facing up to the ceiling. Hips balanced and stabilized as well. Slowly bring it down, squeeze your thighs. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Tuck the tailbone forward, really pull your belly button in and lift. And exhale down. And four. And exhale, slowly bring it down, each vertebra at a time. Three. Keep breathing. Two. All the way up. Exhale down. And last one, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful guys, straight hips from left to right. Now bring your legs up to 90 degree here and keep your back in neutral position, knees 90, hips square, activate your feet here and slowly open your arms to the side. Now inhale, bring one leg down, open your knee wider, come back and lift. Really pull your belly button in and feel your core here. A stronger abs will have a lot with a back as well. So we want to strengthen your abs and your back at the same time. And keep breathing. Exhale, come back to the other side. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it back. In five. To your left. Four. Keep breathing, belly button in. To the other side. And three more times, stay with your own breath. Exhale. To the other side. Two. Activate your feet and keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. And last one. Inhale. Exhale. To the other side. And slowly bring it back to the center. Bring your legs down. Open your legs hip with the part again. And now from here, I want you to inhale, keep your arms along your body again. We're gonna tuck the tailbone forward and lift your hips as high as you can. Now inhale, lift one heel up, exhale down to the other side, come back. Make sure your hips stabilized and belly button in. Keep breathing to the other side in 10 times each side here. To your left, to your right, and nine, eight, to your left. Seven, and squeeze in your thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle here, inhale, exhale, or you can make a longer breath if you can, it's really greater if you can make a longer breath, but it's totally fine, just really listen to your body here, and five, four, three, try to reach your hips as high as you can, and belly button in, and last one, to the other side, and slowly 
Draw your hips down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now from here, I want you to allow yourself to keep your hips and your knees together. And now again, I want you to lift your hips as high as you can. So start to make a little pulse here. Slightly open your knee wider, but try to move it towards each other if you can. If not, that's fine. Just really, again, listen to your body here and tuck the tailbone forward and belly button in. So five, four, three, two, and one slowly. Draw your hips down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now lengthen your legs here. Open your legs a bit apart and dusty flex with your feet. Bring your hands all the way up to the ceiling. Now chin your chest, in your core. Inhale and exhale. Belly button in, use your core to roll up. Flex forward and come back. Drop your shoulder around your spine. Again, each foot hip right at a time down to the mat. Hand over your head again. And lift. Again, use your core, not the momentum here. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back, shoulders down, around your spine. And slowly bring your torso down with control. And a couple more times, stay with your own breath. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale, come back. Now I want you to squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle. And slowly bring it down very slowly. And two. Flex forward. Exhale, come back, drop your shoulders and round your spine. Lift. And slowly bring it back to the center, shoulders down, shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. Keep it in the sitting position here. Exhale deeply to your mouth. All right, now I want you to move yourself to the beginning of the mat. So, Hug your shin with both hands, lift your heels up, roll your spine, chin your chest, and really scoop your belly here. Now inhale, I want you to roll down to your shoulder, and exhale, come back. Use your core to roll up, and only go down to the shoulders, always chin your chest to protect your neck. So, I want you to do it five more times, say with me, inhale, round. Use your core, exhale, roll back, and keep balance on your feet here. And four. Inhale, exhale, keep breathing and use the breath to control the movement. It's really hard. And two, and last one. And slowly bring your feet down. I hope that your back is a little bit feel like it's a massage here. So keep breathing, lengthen your legs again, bend your knees, open your legs a bit apart. Press your feet down, pull your belly button in, and lengthen your spine. Use your hand under your knees here, and then ride your spine, chin your chest, roll down a little bit backward, not all the way down to the mat. Just walk your hand towards your hips, and a little bit down, and then come back, walk your hand towards your knees. Lengthen your spine, and then arch your back, look up, and ride your spine, chin your chest, each foot hip right at a time. Again, walk your hand towards your hips, and hold it here, pull your belly button in, scoop your belly, and articulate your spine. Look up, inhale. You can open your legs wider if you need more space here. And really listen to your body. You don't have to arch your back here. You can always or go to lengthen and keep your back in neutral. Arch or, or just lengthen, keep your back in neutral here, belly button in. And rise your spine, chin to chest here. Hold it here a little bit and come back, articulate your spine, inhale, look up. Exhale, rise your spine. And two more times, sit with your own breath. Belly button all the way in, keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Inhale, look up. And chin your chest, rise your spine, each vertebra breath at a time. I want you to hold a little bit here, longer than normal. So three, shoulder, chest open, belly button all the way in, two, and last one, arch your back, or just keep your back lengthening. Look up to the ceiling or towards the front if you need modification. Belly button all the way in two, and one slowly. Bring your body to neutral, lengthen your spine again. Now, if you feel like you 
cannot really lengthen your spine here. You can always use the pillow to sit on it for more support. Bring your hands to the side, inhale. And exhale, rotate the torso to one side and come back to the other side. Exhale back to the center and do it slowly with your breath. So we're going to do it five more times each side. To the other side, bring it back and four. To your left, three. To the other side. And two more times here. And last one. Open, come back to your left. And the last time to your right to make it balanced. And bring your arms down, rotate your shoulders. And reverse. Beautiful. Now I want to inhale and lengthen your legs, dorsiflex with your feet. Open your legs with the part here. Now I want you to inhale and slowly open your arms to the side, soften your elbows. Now rotate your torso to one side again and flex forward your opposite ankle. Come back to the other side. Make sure you press your sitting bones down here so your torso is rotating and moving. Try to reach your hand towards your knee, opposite knee or ankle. Go a little bit deeper if you can. Really listen to your body though. And engage your core when you flex your spine forward. Exhale. Inhale, come back to the other side. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bring it back. Press your feet down. You can see my legs are not moving. Only my torso is rotating here. Beautiful. And two. To the other side. And last one. To the other side and slowly bring it back hand on your thighs here. Articulate your spine, look up and ride your spine. Inhale and exhale. And three, two, again, you can lengthen your spine here and ride your spine. And last one, and slowly lengthen your spine, shake your hips. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now the next movement, I wanted to allow yourself to um, lie all the way down on your back again. So keep your back in neutral position here, and then bend one knee, and then lift one leg to 90 degree arms along your body. And I wanted to press your whole arms down, tuck the tailbone forward, and lift your hips as high as you can. Come back. So we will do it five times here, each side. Inhale all the way up, try to stabilize your hips and lift as high as you can. Hold arms, press down to the mat. And three, two, and last one, lift. And slowly bring your leg down to the other side. Activate your foot. Inhale, draw your hips all the way up. And exhale, bring it down. Now again, inhale, draw your hips up. Exhale down and three, two, and last one, lift and slowly bring it down, bend your knees down, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Alright, now from here I wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees, activate your feet, open your arms to the side, inhale open your leg to the side. Make sure that your back is in neutral and your hips are neutral here, stabilized. And come back and lengthen. Engage your core and bend and open. And bring it back. Lengthen. Good. And slowly bring your arms all the way up. Keep your palms together. So when you do that, I really want you to stay focused on pressing your hips down to the mat. Keep breathing. We really have to work your back muscles and your core muscles here to keep your torso stabilized without the support of your arms. So keep breathing here. Inhale and exhale. Come back. Lengthen. Belly button in and back in neutral position. Very good. And three. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your legs down, arms down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And allow yourself to lean on one side to sit up. 
So crush your leg here and hand on your knees, lengthen your spine. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and reverse. Interlace your fingers to the back. Inhale and exhale and lift your arms up and down and inhale one more time exhale deeply lift your arms up and down and now interlace your finger to the front push your arms to your right and to the other side come back one more time and bring your arms down to the mat rotate your shoulders and reverse one more time now rotate your neck around your head I mean your head around your neck and one more round here reverse and one more round and back to the center now lengthen your spine inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth inhale and exhale and lift your arms all the way up reach and down and lift and down and three two last one reach your hands to the side and try to reach your arm all the way to your right and to your left and three to the other side two belly button in slightly and last one to the other side slowly back to the center and inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and that's the quick of today thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you tomorrow on day 13.